What is up, my new event friends? Today, I'm going to talk to you about setting up Golang or Go, the programming language inside of NeoVim and how to get started. I've been playing around with Go for a little bit, and so I've always wanted to dive deeper and do a little bit more complex projects inside of it, but I haven't set up my NeoVim instance. So today, I'm going to show you how to do that because I finally got it working. I'm going to use my personal NeoVim configuration, which you can check out my configuration with a link in the description. If you want me to show this inside of Kickstart NVIM or something else, leave a comment below and I'll make a new video on how to do that. But hopefully this gets you at least most of the way there and you can set it up inside of whatever configuration with a few little tweaks for syntax inside the Lua programming language. If none of this makes sense or you haven't set up an LSP and kind of understand what's going on with that, check out this video right here in the top right hand corner and consider looking at my LSP basics. And as always, I will leave a link in the description with an article outlining all of this so that you can just go read it and copy that configuration into yours. Generally, you should start off by using lazy.invim, which is the preferred package manager for most things nowadays. There are some that use COC invim or, you know, if you're using packer.invim, then you really want to migrate to lazy.invim because that is not maintained anymore. So figure out how you're going to migrate before you start tackling this. There are several aspects of configuring NeoVim for a new language. Basically, you want to configure your LSP or your language server and connect it. Then you want to add tree setter support. Then you want to configure something for formatting. For me, that is using conform.invim. And then you can add a debugger and configure that so that you can debug your code. Let's start off by adding our language server which for this, we're gonna use go please or go PLS. Before we jump into that configuration, you need to have go installed on your machine. For me, I use ASDF. So if I do ASDF list, then you can see I have a bunch of different languages here and we have 1.225, which is what we're using for this video. If you need help with installing ASDF, I'll add some links in the description so you can get this started. Basically, you want to install ASDF on your machine, install a plugin for managing the different language, and then install the latest version of it. For actually installing the language server, go please, we're going to use mason.invim. Mason is an awesome tool for managing all of these different dependencies like language servers. So for us, we have this configuration here where we install with lazy.invim. And then we have a Mason tool installer, which I'll get into later, but we want to install this. And then down here at the bottom, Basically, we want to install this go, please. If you want to cheat a little bit, you can also install this delve, which is going to be our debugger. So install this and get this set up. All right, inside of my LSP Lua file. So I split out all of my LSP configuration into its own file instead of in the giant table that we were just looking at. So I use LSP zero, which is kind of a collection of all the different plugins like LSP config. And this uses mason.invim, which is probably unnecessary because we have it in the other file and then the mason lsp config so this uses a bunch of different plugins together and wires up like your completion your snippets which i've covered a little bit in other videos if you want to see how i set up my command completion here then you can check out this video in the top right hand corner but all of this i will have in that article that i linked in the description this has a bunch of different key maps that you can set for using your lsp and then at the bottom here we have our Mason LSP config and we want to set up go please inside of here. All of this for adding one line if you have LSP zero set up. Basically, you're just hooking up your language server to Mason LSP config. Now we should have our LSP set up. If you restarted your NeoVim instance, then you should see that language server installing and also that delve debugger if you have that set up. Now we want to set up tree sitter and have a grammar installed. So we want to add this line right here to our ensure installed and this will install that grammar so that we can get nice syntax highlighting and other plugins can use the grammar for their work next we want to set up conform.invim there's other plugins you could use here in the past i would have recommended null ls but that is now deprecated you could be using none ls which is another option but for me i prefer conform and you basically add formatters for file type and we want to add go and go format as our preferred formatter I don't have auto formatting set up, so check out the article in the description if you want to set up a format on save option. After doing all that, now we can go over to a Go project and we can crack open our NeoVim instance, go to a Go file, and for this, it's just a hello world example and I have another function. I do intend to make another video on getting started with Go because, hey, that's what I'm doing right now. So if you're interested in that, let me know. 
but basically we should have some autocomplete set up. So now we have this funk keyword and we have a snippet. So if we did this, then we have a nice autocomplete. We're getting a little bit of autocomplete from Codium, but our LSP is now working. We have snippets and we're good to go. Now let's make sure that we have debugging set up or a debugger. For us, we're gonna install Delve, which is in our Mason. So if we look for Delve here, then we're gonna have this installed from our Mason tool installer. And then down here in this other section, we're gonna install from Mason InVim DAP. We're gonna make sure that that is installed so that the connection is made. So install two, those two different things. And then also we wanna install this other plugin, which is InVim DAP Go. This is the specific debug adapter that we're gonna to use to connect Delve and Mason and essentially connect into NeoVim. Once you have all these set up, then let's jump over to our code and let's see if it works. Make sure that you set up the InVim DAP Go underneath InVim DAP, which is how it all gets wired together. All right, let's see how we get this thing working. Now, if we go into InVim and we crack open our test file, then we can set a breakpoint, maybe like right here. And if we run this debug test where we're doing Lua and then require DAP Go and debug test, you can set this to a key map. When you execute this, then it should break on that test and be able to do whatever you need to. So you can do debug continue or however you wanna debug your test. If you have any issues with executing Delve or you get some errors, then I'll leave a link for this in the description. Basically, you can check out some of these Mac OS considerations. Make sure you have this installed and then some of these other dev tools and other groups. So try doing that if you run into any errors whenever Delve starts up. I personally prefer to have everything in pieces so I can swap them out and configure them and so I understand them a little better. But if you prefer to have something that is all in one, you should check out Vim Go. I haven't personally tried this one, but I've heard good things about it if you wanna have all this functionality bundled together. And this should basically get you up and running with the Go programming language. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If there's other configurations for Golang that you want me to, to make a video about, then let me know in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.